Thunderboxes, we're going to be using them on a universal application. So that means we're going to be able to install them on almost any kind of engine. And therefore, we have a ton of flexibility for where we're going to be wiring something like a map sensor. We might be putting it on analog 1 or all the way up to analog 16 if you're on the Link Thunder. So you have a tremendous amount of pin flexibility of where you can wire your inputs. And we have to set them up in the software according to where you've wired them. So in this video, we're going to be going in and creating a new page layout in our PC Link software and then going in and learning how to work with the calibration process for setting the calibration scale up for the sensor and setting the correct pin designation so that when you go and start to tune, everything is going to be calibrated properly. It's going to be coming into the right pin input. We're going to have a lot to learn, so let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be talking about how we're going to be configuring our inputs coming into our link box. So this is going to be our map sensor, our throttle position sensor, our wide bands, uh, coolant temp, air temp, oil pressure, fuel pressure, and on and on. So all the different inputs we have coming in, we have to configure them. Now if you're on a plug-in box, uh, chances are if you have something like a coolant temp sensor, you're not going to have to designate it to the pin. It's already going to be populated in the base map you're using. Now I'm going to be going through what you're going to need to do if you're on a universal wiring box like an Atom, a Storm, or a Thunder, you're going to have to go and designate the pin location for the particular sensor and then also do your calibration process. So um, both the calibration process is going to be able to use on a uh, plug-in box and on these universal applications. So in order to go and do this most efficiently, we're going to have to create a new page. We can see we have our configuration, tuning, logging, and mixture map. These are the pages that Link has set up for us already. We can go in and further optimize these uh, and really add in uh, specific pages for specific tuning tasks. So all this series is going to go in and we're going to be going in and each new thing that we introduce, we're going to be creating a new page for it to help us go in and focus in and tune that specific uh, thing that we want to do uh, very quickly and very efficiently. So in this case, we're going to create an inputs page. Now, if we go into ECU settings here, we're going to see there are analog inputs. These are going to be what we configure in our drop down menu if we go in here, analog inputs. Um, we're going to be seeing if I double click this, it's going to open up this window here. This is going to be a configuration window to turn on or off the function of this particular input of uh, the AN temp1 here. Now, I could go and leave it in my mixture map, but that is going to be cumbersome to constantly have to pop back into, say, my mixture map to go look for this. I want to create a dedicated page for my inputs. So it's going to be most easily found, most easily configured. If I want to go ahead and change the calibration scale uh, or do some troubleshooting, I'm able to go in and access it right away. So I'm going to close this and just say delete that. Now, if we want to create a new page, we have two different ways we can go about doing this. First, we can go up to layout here and we can go and select new page. And if we do that, it's going to prompt me up to uh, name the new page. That's going to be added up here along with these other four. Um, or click cancel there. If we right click, go into new page, we can go designate a new page in that manner as well, just right clicking in this open space. Now I'm going to go ahead and just keep going with this method. This is what I traditionally use. I just right click up top. So I'm going to be naming this inputs and I'm going to go OK. Now you can see we have five pages now in our software here and we want to make sure that we save this layout. So I'm going to go to layout here go to save as and save this as something. So every time we're making our new page layouts and we go after each video is done, if you're following along, make sure you go and do layout save as and save it as some particular name. You can keep resaving over the same uh, layout because we're gonna be adding a ton more pages in this training series. There's gonna be a lot of things we have to cover and each page that we add is gonna be very specific for a tuning task to help you most efficiently uh, and most clearly go in and access the information that you need to look at and to go in and modify and edit in your tune um, so you can do that process efficiently. So we're going to get started here. We're going to go to ECU settings. I'm going to go double click AN temp1. Now in my particular box here, I have my analog temp1 set as my engine coolant temperature. So if I go here and I'm going to move this box or able to move these around wherever you'd like.